What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And you are looking at a Curiosity Rover picture from the new year. Happy New Year, 2015. And we've got some new souls, new, well, a new soul that came down with some new images from the Curiosity Rover. Let your eyes adjust to this bad boy. This, this has been enhanced a little bit. And what we got on this one, it looks to see, this is the same area. It's been imaged before. Back in like the late 700 souls, this whole area was imaged. Um, this is where we have the Egyptian sculpture that's on the edge of the corner, if you look back in my videos. And also, we've got some pretty amazing things in here that I see. At least I see what I see, you see what you see. Um, that's how we do it here. I'm going to show you where to get it. Now, I want your eyes, I put a little red on some of these uh, features that look like... Uh, look like little sculptures here and this looks like the typical Mars dilapidated something happened here that put this into ruins um, pretty much tossed the, tossed the planet up through the rocks everywhere almost looks like Puma Punka where you have the uh, the rocks some of them are still together where they've been set look like they've been sitting for years look they even got uh, the little circles still in them look at look how they all match each other perfectly as they come up but what's pretty amazing about this one is right here it looks like you've got well, first off, it looks like you've got a Moab statue like you see out on Easter Island. Look at the mouth here, the nose, the eyes. And also, take see this little hook right here? There's some sort of hook that's coming off of it. It looks way unnatural. And down here, you look like you've got some more of what seems to be carved out rocks. Um, this whole area just is just spewing with stuff. So we're going to go through here... Uh, uh, not too fast. We're going to go through it and take a look at some of the things. Look at the, what looks like pieces that come up and over. And uh, more cabling or something that's in here. And if you see what I'm talking about here, see how this comes up and over. And then look at this. Seems like little cabling that comes running down through here. Uh, pretty amazing, this picture. Now, this is, of course, this is the enhanced version. Here's how it looks when it comes from NASA right here. I didn't do too much to it. You can still see the pieces there. You can see the hook there. You can see the face on that. Now this over here is a pretty interesting face. Look at this one right here. Now let me go ahead and I'll put the, this looks like Egyptian in statue or here's your, here's will be your mouth, your nose, your eyes, and just the headpiece right here. You've got an ear over here and everything. And what seems to be like the uh, neck, like a, a ornate neck piece as well too. And let me go flip that back on. That piece right there kind of brings that out a little bit. Now, I see what I see, you see what you see. You could say, you know, you could find this on pretty much any, you know, go take a picture of some rocks. That's just your eyes are doing that to you. Go take some pictures of some rocks and do this. I've been doing this for a while, and there's enough in this picture that shows ancient civilization. We're right at the bottom of the of Mount Sharp, where uh, you would expect some relics to be, especially if there was a catastrophe. You would expect this stuff to be at the bottom of Mount Sharp. It most likely was underwater at one time. And uh, there's more and more of it, and we haven't even started here. Let me show you where I got it from, just so you guys know that I'm not, I'm not Josh. Nia. I didn't make this thing up. I didn't go out back and take this, or you know, I didn't go over to Denver and take this out in Colorado somewhere. This is was well, supposedly taken on uh, Mars by the Curiosity rover. And look at some of the artifacts that are just left down here. Look at this piece right here. Look at the interesting uh, shape of that. How it comes out. Even on this side up here, it's it's been opened up. It's got a little hole in it. Seems to be. Uh, that's pretty interesting. I haven't seen something like that in a while. Now there's a little blur piece right here too that kind of blocks out what else you can see. Just like right here, there's another blur piece. Some interesting work. Now, this piece too I thought was kind of interesting. It looked like a little bit of a tube coming off of this piece right here, whatever this is. It kind of looks like it's got a... Uh, I almost looks like another... To me, it looks like another face or something with, or like a, a animal-type depiction of something with a uh, tusk or something coming off of it. Of course, that's just what I see. I'm just equating that to what I've seen on Earth. And we all have different lives, different paths. We have all have seen different things. Um, you may see that as something totally different. That's what I love about this. Um, to me, this stuff, a lot of this stuff screams intelligence. Though. At least it, uh, it, it looks like what would I would see when I look at the uh, pictures. And I've been doing this for a long time. I've, I've, I've been so enamored with... Uh, you know, ever since I was a boy, I'm 34 now, and ever since Unsolved Mysteries was on, was like I think Robert Stack was the guy's name back in the day, and that would come on, it would talk about Egypt, it would talk about the Mayans, it would talk about you know, Nostradamus, all sorts of that interesting stuff to get me into this stuff, and uh, the second I could start finding pictures of Mars and stuff like that, I started reaching out. I found Richard Hoagland and those guys, um, the Coast to Coast web, the show itself. Uh, so let's just kind of troll through this piece here and take a look at what we've got. Now, 
interesting things now for a size they don't give us uh you say it's hard to tell the size on this the scale of this stuff but we're not looking at very small pieces a lot of the times you get next to the curiosity rover will take some pictures and some of the stuff looks really really small uh, but this stuff looks to be pretty big size like pretty decent sized so check this piece out here i marked that in red here let me see if i got that one marked out in red right here it looks like a little statue of an owl or something that's sitting there um you don't get much shadow in this picture either, so it's hard to tell what's going which way. But the colors, I have not added these colors right here. This, these colors are all in this picture. Um, as you can see, see it there? It's like that greenish color. All I've done when I did my, uh, I've auto-corrected it, basically. Um, I've added a couple, you know, added some exposure, dropped some contrast. And then with the black and white, all I did was run the alien skin program on it just to get a good black and white composite of it sometimes you can see things in black and white that you don't see in other especially when you add a little bit of color to it um, but see the, the you gotta say that looks like a statue that's staring off that way and this one seems to be looking off with it too and i'm sure that you guys some of you all the guys can make faces out of this stuff you know humans are programmed to make faces i understand that and i'm also looking at something that's probably been you know this stuff could have been I used to say thousands and millions of years old, but I'm not. I'm thinking Mars is not. I'm thinking the time is is not as far back as we think. You know, um, that the civilization was actually on Mars. I mean, it, it, it might not have been millions of years ago. We're talking maybe thousands of years ago. Who really knows? You know, maybe uh, ten thousand. You know, look at what happens to a uh, to an old city as it's abandoned you can watch a lot of there's a lot of good things on discovery channel here in the united states that uh shows certain abandoned cities and stuff and you start to look at some of the stuff and it looks like mars just something that's been abandoned and something was there to begin with not desolate you know mars they say mars mars is such a desolate place when i see the pictures i don't see that i see something that's it's got looks to me like it's got blue skies especially this picture is a good one to see that it doesn't take much when you auto correct this here i'm just going to go ahead and auto correct this piece so you can see i said auto color it turns it that color blue automatically now here you can just with doing that you can see that to me that stands out that was one of the first ones i saw plus this right here looked like that little moab guy and that like i said this one I'm not 100% sure about, but this here definitely looks like some sort of face, and it matches the area. You know, here it seems like some rocks that were, you know, stones that were fitted into place like you have. Um, also here, there's a little tongue-type impression on this. Check to see how this kind of comes around like this and goes back up. Not sure what to make of that. Um, I love the colors that come out of the picture. And as I said, those colors are embedded in the picture. So that's the color. That's what I get when I pull it out. And that's what I think we would see if we were there. I think we're more inclined to see that. And a lot of these things, look, this looks like chain rope. See how that comes? It just looks like rope chain or something along those lines. Um, I think we don't even know what we're dealing with when it comes to Mars and the technologies. This seems like some sort of, let your eyes kind of just adjust on this right here. Hold on these pieces look at the, like this right here and that piece right there it almost looks like some sort of piece of a technology or a really ornate carving that just ended up at the bottom of the hill yeah and, and you like i, I the, for the rock people go outside take some pictures bring them back in make some videos you know show me your stuff now i've got one guy who did that the earth makes some amazing looking rocks flat ones and like i said i'm not saying that but when you put them all into one place um, like on a like a ridge here, and off the side of the ridge, you've got a piece that looks like a uh, you know a full Egyptian lady statue that's pointing in the other direction. And I've got a full video on that if you just go back and uh, Egyptian statue on Mars, um, the the latest one. It's uh, or maybe Queen on Mars or something like that. But check this out here. You've got what looks to be a uh, another hook or something. Maybe that's just darkened and that's just a little shadow through there. Just just more speculation, but. Now tell me that that piece right here that comes up isn't pretty interesting and it's got that it looks like it's got some very cool colors to it right there and check this out here this almost looks like another face looking that way um, and what's interesting about it is it's, it's got that that greenish blue it turned out to be blue when we did the auto run but 
What do you guys think? Let me know. Comment below. I, I bring you the stuff. I give you the link. The link's always in it. If you're new to my videos, this is what we do here. I, I go out. This was sent to me by my friend Desiree. Um, she's from, uh, she's right by Amsterdam. And she's awesome. She sends me all sorts of pictures, all sorts of good stuff. She's definitely, this was one of the best ones I've seen that she sent over. She's got some good stuff. She finds all the sorts of, she's actually, she actually sent, there's all sorts of more stuff she found in here. So, as always, I expect you guys to be uh, commenting below and saying, oh, you missed this at 5.55, check this out. And then, you know, a lot of people download these pictures and go check it out from your comments and work with it. So, let me know what you guys think below. Comment, hit the like button. That stuff helps, you know. Um, hashtag, it was, we, need to, we need to make a hashtag. Think, guys, what, what our hashtag could be here to get, you know, start a little trend with Mars. Um and all of us get behind it, you know, and start hashtagging things every time we make videos for all the people that make videos, for people to put the pictures out. It'd be a uh, interesting thing to do. So I think what I'll do with this one, I always put enhanced pictures, all of these. I'll, I always do my enhanced video or, and put them on my uh, article. I'm going to add this whole enhanced picture just like that to the site as well. So you can grab the enhanced one and uh, download it for yourself. So, all right, guys, what's up in the sky at 37? This is Will. Love you guys. Have a good one. Happy New Year. Peace.